Thank you for turning to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at an outstanding box set, The Great Rift. This guy's been out since, I think, 2017, but it's new to me. Uh, just got this. Uh, my wife gave it to me as a birthday gift, so, wow. Uh, I'm going to take a look. I, I've already looked at it, obviously. There's no shrink wrap on it, but I'm going to unbox it. I put it back exactly as it was. I'll unbox it and show the contents, and uh, I'm really excited about reading this guy. I haven't had a chance to yet. Also... Uh, another birthday gift for my wife, a nice new traveler shirt. She said she was tired of seeing the old one on the channel all the time. So uh, it was an all traveler birthday for me. That means it was a happy birthday for me. Uh, but that's it. I uh, just want to, uh, you know, please subscribe. Uh, it's been a while since I've thrown that out there. So if you could subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Keep the channel growing. Also, I have a Patreon going. If you take a look at that, that'd be wonderful. Back to the important stuff. The Great Rift box set. Featured today on page 121. Traveler the Great Rift box set. I was really excited to get this guy. First off, it comes in a beautiful box. Nice thick cardboard. Not going to damage easily over time. And we get one, two, three maps. I'm not going to uh, show the maps like this. I'll unfold them toward the end of the video. And then you get book one, The Great Rift. You get this great ribbon. It lets you lift the box contents out. So I'm going to do that. See the really neat ribbon. I love that about Mongoose's stuff. There's the, the back of the box. Uh, it's got retails for $69.99. Uh, Mongoose's box sets are just top flight. Uh... I've have I have several of them now. I have four. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, this is my fourth one. Uh, I believe the only box set I'm missing is the uh, Mercenaries one. So we'll have to see about getting that sometime down the line. So in the box we have a book one of the Great Rift, and this tells us all the interesting features of the Great Rift. This was written by Martin J. Doherty. Always a nice book from Martin. Uh, was published in 2017. So I realize that this is nothing uh, new to the world at large. It's just new to me. And there we have a nice depiction of the Great Rift. And we get a lot of discussion about what a rift is. A rift is an area without stars. And in Traveler, you basically need stars or planets or comets to refuel. And without them, you have a very hard time crossing rifts. And that's why these rifts are, are so important in Traveler. Behind the Claw refers to the Spinward Marches area behind the Great Rift that looks a lot like a monster's, monster claw. And this talks about the rift itself, the peoples in the Great Rift, and all the uh, effects that the rift has, where it isolates a lot of the Spinward Marches and things like that. So we got a nice look at that. We get features of the Great Rift, uh, the Aslan covering, uh, exploration and jumping of it. We get jump space all kinds of neat jump space stuff. Jump space shoals, jump space reefs, deeps, jump space trenches. I'm so excited about this. I get to read about a lot of these gravitational anomalies. And then we get a look at each of the subsectors. And there we are, Kuth sub subsector. And a lot of Aslan influence here because, of course, the higher it is just across the Great Rift from the Third Imperium. We get a Dreadnought monitor in here. Tech level 15, 250,000 ton displacement. <laughs> I like this guy. It's a big ship. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, let's see, this guy has uh, thrust six, jump two. Wow. I do not want to encounter this thing in my little free trader. I'm going to lose big time. Uh, he has more guns than I have tons in my ship. My goodness. Uh, spinal rail gun. At tech level 13, a fusion, 24 fusion guns, 48 medium missile bays, 400 triple turrets of pulse lasers, uh, 400 triple turrets of sandcasters, and two, and then a beam laser in one of the three points, and a points de defense battery type three, a hundred of them. This thing is massive. It's got a massive crew. I like a nice ship like this. I really enjoy that kind of thing. And uh, I have not read through this, of course, because it's big. And uh, I want to take my time and enjoy this. I just thought I'd do an unboxing today just to show you what you're getting. 
farming submarine. <laughs> this is so cool. And I'm going to come out of the first book and we'll go to the second book, which is Reft, which is the subsector back in there, uh, be in the uh, Great Rift as part of it. Serendip Belt. Oh, all kinds of good stuff in here. So there's the Reft sector. Anybody who's an old Spinward Marches uh, hand like me, uh, both as player and GM, uh, you're going to appreciate this book. Uh, the, the Rift was always something that we just kind of went around uh, there because there wasn't all that much information in Old Traveler about the Great Rift. There was, of course, talk of the Arslan Jump 5 crossing and uh, the islands in the Rift. Uh, I remember reading something about the islands in the Rift in an old supplement. I don't remember where off the top of my head. But to have all this, and then I got the ebook of this a few months ago, along with the adventures as a bundle of holding. Uh, so I actually have all the adventures that deal with this. So I'm pretty excited about that. So in conjunction with this, I have ebooks of all the adventures that went with this. I think there were three. So just a nice, another so subsector book. That's a chirper. Very cool. The islands. I love the islands. What a great idea. Uh, we got a Starline class merchant cruiser, a tech level 9, 2,500 ton displacement. Wow. 583 tons of cargo. Wow, that's a big boy. And Starline class. Uh, who makes this guy? Hmm, I'd have to read up. But that's the beauty. I get to read this guy. I'm really excited about this. I'm glad I have this. Touchstone and Afawasa. And these are also uh, parts of the Rift. And we get some more sources there. I love reading this stuff. It gives me so many ideas for games. I may never play in parts of this. I should live so long that I'd be able to play in all of it. But um, to all the ideas in here, we've got uh, some critters. A Mountain Pouncer, Venom Vines, just all kinds of stuff. I love this kind of source book. And especially a beautiful box set like this. This is so nice. Okay, and then the last is Book 4, The Deep Space Exploration Handbook. Now this is the thinnest of them all. Uh, this guy is only about 24 pages. But it gives you lots of information as far as Exploring Deep Space, Stars and Interstellar Phenomena, Anomalies, Rogues, and Other Objects, Expanded Star System Creation, and High Guard Deep Space Exploration. And again, by Martin Doherty. This is just gorgeous. I know these went in Kickstarters, but that was during my whole, oh, I have the old stuff, I don't need mongoose. Uh, I admit freely again, boy was I wrong. Uh, there are all kinds of things in the mongoose stuff, even the stuff that's just updates. From the stuff that was printed in the early 80s, you know, like JTAS, Journal of Travelers Aid Society. I've been buying those from Mongoose, and even though I have the original issues and the original articles, there's been enough expanded, updated stuff that uh, I've really enjoyed having them. So there we go. That's the box set. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out the uh, three maps, and we're going to take a look at what's on those guys. Here we have the first of the three maps. All of these maps are double-sided. This is Touchstone Sector. I love a Traveler Sector map. I'm a huge fan of Traveler Map, the online uh, website that has all this information on it. But there's something in me that just geeks out completely at the prospect of an actual Traveler paper map. I've never understood it, and I'm not going to fight it. Traveler paper mats are just so cool. So there's the Touchstone Sector map. And the flip side of this one, we get Fibitor system in the Touchstone Sector. So we actually get a, a nice layout of a sec, uh, system in the subsector. And I kind of like this. I thought this was uh, very convenient. Uh, be a great way to show player characters the various you know layouts of the system and outer system and the inner system. I just thought this was really nice. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. And this is Corridor. Corridor is hugely important in the 
uh, spinward marches because it's the safe access to the spinward marches from the rest of the third imperium right there down through this relatively narrow corridor that leads behind the claw. Here is the, the claw itself. Just no real way across that thing unless you've got high jump. And here's some more of the Imperium. This is the Lancian Cultural Region right there. Just that's the one outlined in the purple. It's uh this is just really nice. I just love traveler maps. On the back side of this guy, we have Reft Sector, which is also pretty awesome. And again, I know that this is on Traveler Map, and I love Traveler Map, don't get me wrong. But there's just something about spreading out a map like this right in front of you, on your fingertips, everything up right at your, you know, right for you to look at. I just get really excited about it. So, I've always loved Traveler Maps. It's one of my favorite things about Traveler. I remember when I first started playing Traveler, I had the old uh, Judges Guild maps, the Sector Maps. I love those things. I still have them. Okay, and here we go with Afa Wisa sector. A lot of the Aslan Hyrit in this one, right there. And showing the portions of the Great Rift. This is just wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. I am so happy with this. And then the last of the sides we have to look at. And this is Rift Span Reaches. And this shows the crossing from the Aslan Hyrat, the route that, that you would need to take to cross over to get to the connected Hyrat, which leads up by the uh, Third Imperium. So, just really outstanding. I love these works, these, these maps, they're just gorgeous. Uh, high quality, very thick, gloss paper. Uh, just everything in this box set was, was top flight. So, I recommend it highly. Uh, not much review when the guy who's doing the review just stands in and says, I love it, I love it, I love it. But I do. Uh, no disappointments at all. I was really excited about receiving this. And uh, I cannot wait to sit down with some time and read this guy all the way through. It's going to be a little while before I get the opportunity to do that. But uh, I will do the best I can. And when I do, we're going to take a look at this together uh, on the channel. So that's all I've got for today for page 121. I just want to recommend this this box set highly. Uh, this is a beautiful box set, uh, one that I absolutely wanted a hard copy of, even though I have it already in ebook. Uh, as everybody knows, when you buy something hard copy from Mongoose's website, you automatically get the ebook as a download. Uh, one thing I have found, Mongoose, if you're listening, uh, sometimes I buy a book as an ebook, thinking I won't want the hard copy, but then I do want the hard copy. I wish there was a way I could get like a $10 credit or something for having already bought the electronic version. Just a thought, uh, just throwing it out there because I got to tell you, there's other stuff I would buy if I knew I got some kind of discount, even though I'd already bought it off of an ebook, you know, because I'd bought it off of is an ebook, uh, but changed my mind and want the hard copy. I would, uh, if there was any kind of discount you could throw into that, it would definitely sway my thinking about later purchasing the hard copy. So there you go. That's it for today on page 121. I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you heard and saw. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.